Hey guys! Welcome back to Blockman Editor Tutorials. Today, let's learn how to make glass tiles on Squid Game. First, we need to prepare a game map and build a glass bridge in the map. The glass bridge is made up of glass blocks, there are 15 groups of glass, and each glass has a region. At the beginning of the glass bridge, we need to build an air wall, and it is used to limit the player's activity range before the game starts. Then, you need to prepare three regions, the entrance region, the bottom region, and the exit region. Finally, we need to prepare a buff, we use it to play the sound of broken glass. In addition, we have to adjust the logic of the previous lesson. Select the die region, click the event to edit. First, add a conditional judgment to the logic of returning the failed player to the lobby map. Judge whether the variable map is equal to 1. Secondly, select when the entity leaves the region. Set and tidies coordinates to the glass bridge map. Next, let's start making the game. Click the event edit of the entrance region and select when the entity enters the region. Let's first create some global variables and global arrays. Global variables names and it cut down time to global arrays names list buff list. Their initial values need to be the same as those in the video. Next, let's explain the logic of data initialization. We first judge whether the value of the variable in it is zero. Then execute a for loop that repeats 15 times. Each loop adds a new element to the array list. The value of the new element is a random number, ranging between 1 and 2. Then add new elements to the array buff list. The value of the new element is 0. Then, we set the value of the variable time 2 to 100. Start the counter, the interval is 1, the times is 100. Every 1 second, reduce the variable time 2 by 1. Next, we set the value of the cutdown variable to 10. After waiting for 3.5 seconds, start the counter, the interval is 1, the times is 10. Every 1 second, reduce the variable cutdown by 1. Finally, set the value of the variable in it to 1. And, we have completed the initialization of the data. When the player enters the region, the tips of the game countdown will be displayed. And the duration is 3 seconds. After waiting for 3.5 seconds, start a counter called remove air wall, the interval is 1, the times is 15. We use the variable cutdown to show the countdown of the game starting. In addition, we also need the if. When the value of the variable cutdown is less than 1, we remove the air wall and close the counter. Then, we have completed the countdown of the game starting and removing the air wall. Let's take a look at the game. Start the counter, the interval is 1, the times is 100. Because we use the variable time 2 to represent the all game. So, when the variable time 2 is less than or equal to 10, we can display the tips of the countdown of the game over. As for the death of the player after the game is over, when the variable time 2 is less than or equal to 0, all players still in the area will die. Finally, in order to distinguish from the other maps, we need to set the value of the entity variable map to 2. This means that the player's map is the glass bridge map. Then we have completed the countdown of the game over and player to die after the game is over. In the editor, we need to find the game resource view. There is a glass region folder. There are 30 regions in it, corresponding to 30 glass. According to the name, we regard one left and one right as a group. So, there are 15 groups in total. Their logic is almost the same. We choose the first group to explain. Click the edit events of the one left region. Select when the entity enters the region. Open the if underscore else node. Because this is the first group of regions. So we need to use the element, whose index value is 1 in the array list. We stipulate, if the element is 1, then the glass on the left is broken. If the element is 2, then the glass on the right is broken. When the value of the element is equal to 1, we will remove the blocks in the corresponding region. Then, 
judge whether the element whose index value is 1 in the array buff list is equal to 0. If it meets the judgment, then add the broken buff to the player, and set the element whose index value is 1 in the array buff list to 1. After that, we select all the nodes and execute the copy operation. Back to the editor, we click the event edit of the one right region. Select, when the entity enters the region. We paste the content we just copied. Then modify the condition of judging the value of the array list element. Change whether the element value is equal to 1 to whether it is equal to 2. Finally, remove the blocks and the corresponding region of one right. Then, we have completed the broken logic of the first class group. Do the same steps to other group. However, the index values of the array list and buffless must match the corresponding groups. For example, the index value of the second group is 2. Finally, don't forget to adjust the region where the removed block is located. Then, we have completed the broken logic of all glass groups. Let's take a look at the complete effect in the game. Select the bottom region, click the edit events to edit. Select, when the entity enters the region. When the player falls to the bottom region, we kill the player that enters the region. In the game components view, find the entity. Select the player, click the edit events to edit. Create a new event, select, when the entity dies. When the player dies, he or she cannot return to the lobby map until the game is over. We start a counter, the interval is 1, the times is 100. Open the if underscore else node and use logical and operation. Judge whether the variable map is equal to 2. And judge whether the variable time 2 is less than or equal to 0. When the conditions are met, we teleport the dead player back to the lobby map. And close the counter. As for the logic of victory, select the exit region, click the edit events to edit. Select, when the entity enters the region. When the player enters the region, judge whether the variable time 2 is greater than 0. If the conditions are met, the player will be teleported back to the lobby map. And display the victory tips for 3 seconds. Then, we have completed the player's death and victory logic. Let's experience it in the game. Thanks for watching, hope this video helps. If you want more detail about our editor you can comment below or post on our official forum. See you next time.